Samsung has announced that their upcoming Galaxy A35 and Galaxy A55 phones, set to be released soon, will be easier to repair compared to their older models. This means that if something goes wrong, repairing these phones will be simpler in certain areas. Samsung has shared official repair scores for their Galaxy phones, including the yet-to-be-released A55 and A35 in France. Despite not being available for purchase yet, Samsung has provided repair scores for the Galaxy A55 and A35, indicating slight improvements in repairability compared to the models released in 2023. According to Samsung's grading system, the Galaxy A55 achieved a score of 8.5 out of 10, while the A35 scored 8.4. In contrast, the Galaxy A54 and A34 scored slightly lower at 8.4 and 8.3 points respectively. The Galaxy A55 earned its higher repairability score due to several reasons. 1. It requires fewer or less complex tools for disassembly. 2. Parts are easier to detach from the device. 3. Replacement parts will be available for a longer period to comply with European regulations. Interestingly, although the Galaxy A35 isn't as easy to disassemble as the A34, it scores higher in other categories. Consequently, the upcoming Galaxy A35 boasts a higher overall repairability score than its predecessor. Samsung has yet to disclose the release plans for the Galaxy A35 and A55. However, given that we're nearing the one-year anniversary of the Galaxy A34 and A54 on March 14, it's likely that the 2024 models will be released soon. Samsung has also improved the repairability of its Galaxy S24 flagship models, focusing on ease of disassembly and part availability as key factors. Samsung appears poised to unveil two new additions to its mid-range smartphone lineup, following the releases of the Galaxy A15 5G and A25 5G. The Galaxy A35 and A55 have been teased in clear images showcasing a variety of color options. Renowned leaker Evan Blass has revealed the designs of these phones, providing insight into their features. The Galaxy A35 introduces a new Infinity-O screen design, featuring a small hole for the front camera instead of the U-shaped notch seen on its predecessor, the A34. Meanwhile, the A55 receives an upgrade with a metal frame enhancing its durability and overall quality. Notably, this marks the first time a Galaxy S-Series phone boasts a metal frame. Both devices adhere to Samsung's Key Island design style and will be available in black, green, pink, and white variants. Leaked images suggest that both the A35 and A55 may sport an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, along with security features such as Knox. The borders around the screens appear slimmer compared to previous models. Additionally, both phones are expected to house a sizable 5,000 mAh battery with 25-watt fast charging support. Standard features like stereo speakers and Samsung Pay support are anticipated. The A35 is rumored to feature the Exynos 1380 chip, while the A55 will likely boast the newer Exynos 1480 chip paired with an Xlips 530 graphics unit. Both devices are expected to offer 8GB of RAM and storage options ranging from 128GB to 256GB, along with a microSD card slot. Camera-wise, both phones are slated to feature a 50MP main camera with optical image stabilization, alongside a 5MP macro camera. The A35 may include an 8MP ultra-wide camera, while the A55 is expected to feature a 12MP ultra-wide camera. Connectivity options are comprehensive, including GPS, 5G, LTE, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, NFC, and a USB Type-C port. Upon release, they are likely to come pre-installed with Android 14 and One UI 6, with promised support for four major Android updates and five years of security updates. Are you excited about the Galaxy A55? Share your thoughts and expectations in the comments section below. As anticipation builds for Samsung's latest mid-range offerings, stay tuned for further updates and announcements.